Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Daryl from The Quest. I want to welcome you to The Quest website. If this is the first time you've ever been here or The Quest Facebook, wherever you're seeing this, I uh, just want to, first of all, say good morning to everybody and tell everybody that uh, I'm praying for you. Uh, it's one of the things the Lord has been laying on my heart to pray for those people that I see that have been viewing and liking these videos and so I want you to know I'm in prayer for you. I want to share a short devotion this morning based on a uh, conversation I had with one of my uh, former members who's a d good friend as well uh, just a couple days ago. And this person was telling me that uh, they're struggling trying to be happy. And just a lot of situations, I won't go into it all right now, but she said to me finally, she said, you know, if I just win the lottery, it'd make me happy. And I had to say to her, I said, no, I said, I want you to know something. I said, if you don't find happiness without money, you're never going to find happiness with money. We kind of joked about it, said that, yeah, it would be great to have the money and try it that way. But I, I can tell you, first of all, I I've been there. I may not have been a millionaire, but at one point in my life, through illegal means, and I won't go into that more, but uh, I had money. I had cars. I had everything that you would think would make a person happy. But uh, I was miserable. I, I lived with a pistol stuck under my uh, pillow, a knife sticking out of the side of my bed because I was always afraid somebody was going to come in to hurt me to try to take what I had. <clears throat> and I would, I'm reminded of what Paul wrote in Philippians that I've learned to be content in whatever I have. Listen, if money could guarantee happiness, wouldn't the rich people all be happy? But yet look at the lives of the people we see in Hollywood and the rock stars and the lives they live. You know, I have a personal friend, somebody I've known for a number of years, and this has probably been 10 years ago now that this happened. Uh, one day I'm pastoring a small church and I get a phone call from a friend of mine who's a multimillionaire, made it big in the rock scene. And uh, he's in a motel room just <clears throat> wanting to talk about life. And he was telling me, he said, man, he said, I'll read your blog every day. I don't write that anymore, but I used to write a blog at that time. He said, I'll read your blog every day. And he said, I see the pictures of you and your wife and your kids. And he said, I envy you so much. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm thinking, okay, here's my friend, millions of dollars, known worldwide, and he envies me. I I've thought about that many, many times over the years. I read a book right about that same time, actually, that a guy by the name of Dr. Don Baker or excuse me, Dan Baker, uh, wrote this book, said, What Happy People Know. I want to quote one sentence that he said. He said, The man in front of me seemed to have it all, money, freedom, friends, and family, but he didn't have one thing, the one thing he wanted most, happiness. His home life was would be horrible. His wife deeply resented his obsession with work. His kids hated him, and he had no time to relax. He said, in that book, he said, what was that man's biggest concern? His focus, his goal, his time, his energy, everything was spent on one thing, keeping what he had. Maybe you're listening to me right now and you're thinking, yeah, but that doesn't apply to me. Give me money and I'd be happy. Well, I want to tell you, money is an old saying, money cannot buy happiness. And I want you to know that's absolutely true. Because the more you have the more fear whispers into your ear and into your heart. Unless you have more, it will never be enough. Unless you have more, you're never going to be secure. What if it all disappears tomorrow? So if money is not the secret of happiness, what is? Paul wrote, I want to read it in, in its context. It's in Philippians chapter 4, and I want to read it from the New Living Translation. I love the way it's worded here. It says, For I have learned to be content with whatever I have, I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I've learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is full of a, a, whether it is with a full stomach or an empty stomach, with plenty or with little. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. What Paul's actually saying right there, you know, people misquote that all the time and they say, you know, we can do all things through Christ. Well, that sounds wonderful and that is is indeed what it says. But in its context, it doesn't mean, now listen, I can't go outside the house and say, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to jump this house. Doesn't work that way. But I can do everything I'm called to do. I can face life because Christ is my strength, whether I have a lot or whether I have little. 
whether I'm feeling well today or whether I'm in illness, Christ is my strength. That's what Paul's trying to say. One of my favorite authors, Watchman Nee, if you never read him, look him up, wrote these words. He said, I have never met a soul who has set out to satisfy the Lord and yet has not become satisfied himself. That's the secret to finding happiness in his life. Live your life in such a way that you're trying to please God. Not earn your salvation, just a live your life in a way that is pleasing to God and you'll discover you have found happiness. That doesn't mean everything's always going to be great, but it means that through it all, I can do all things through Christ who is my strength. God bless you. I hope that helps you today. Come back and see me tomorrow on the quest.